Take a look at this. Did you know those images you saw were developed from a single headshot? Yes. Can you guess the tool used? It's certainly not Midjourney and it's not Photolab. If you want to discover the tool, stay with us. Today we'll explore an AI tool designed specifically to carry out AI image to image headshot generations. This tool is amazing and we're super excited to introduce it to you. So get your portrait picture ready and let's dive right in. Before we proceed to the main process, there are a few things to note before selecting a picture to be uploaded to this model Hyperbooth AI. They include 1. Choose a photo where your face is well lit and not blurry. Avoid photos with strong shadows or bright lights that might hide your features. 2. Make sure your face is in the center of the photo and fills most of the frame. Avoid photos where your face is at an angle or cut off. 3. For the best headshots, a neutral face or a slight smile works well. Avoid extreme expressions that can distort your features. 4. A plain background helps the AI focus on your face. Avoid busy or cluttered backgrounds. 5. Remove sunglasses, hats, or anything else that might block your face. Clear visibility of your features is important for the AI to work effectively. 6. Use a sharp, in-focus photo. The clearer the photo, the better the AI can generate realistic headshots. 7. The photo being uploaded should not have more than one person on it. I bet you don't want to confuse the AI. The major thing to remember is to make it easy for the AI model to understand your features. Once the image has been selected based on the standard we just discussed, we'll then proceed to use Hyperbooth for an image-to-image -image generation. To begin, open your browser and head to www.hyperbooth.ai. Next, sign up for an account if you don't already have one. In our case, we'll log in since we already have an account. After logging in, you'll see an interface that looks like this. There are over 300 styles to choose from, each having its unique look and feel. Start by selecting a style you'd like to use on your image. Next, upload the image you want to regenerate using the style you selected. You can tweak the prompt to suit your taste by clicking on the edit button. Hyperbooth offers a range of aspect ratios which you can select from based on your use case. Finally, hit the generate button and watch Hyperbooth AI work its magic. It takes roughly 45 seconds to complete a process in free mode. I'll now pause the screen recording and continue when the Hyperbooth AI model is done generating. Welcome back. Do you see a striking resemblance? When it comes to image-to-image -image generation, this tool is the best we've used. What do you think? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section. Now, I hear you asking what if I like a style that is portrayed with a male image and I'm using a female image or vice versa, what will happen? Will the AI model turn my beautiful female features into that of a male? The answer to the last question is NO. Let's see a demo of this instance. Select to try a new style. This time, we'll use a style that is portrayed by a male. Let's see what the neon confidence style will look like with our image. We already uploaded the image we will use previously, so just select it from the list of recent photos. One thing we've always emphasized when it comes to using generative AI tools is that prompt is everything. This still stands in Hyperbooth AI. If we use the prompt with our image as it is, we should expect to get something of this sort. This looks like the twin brother of the lady in the picture or perhaps her future son. <laughs> if we want to retain the feminine qualities of our base image and still utilize the style, we should change everything in our prompt that hints at being male. Then, we'll replace it with things that hint at being female. Once you're okay with the prompt, select an aspect ratio and proceed to generate. If you ask me, the generations are stunning and they're all a replica of our base image. 
If you take a closer look at the generated images, you'll see a watermark on the images. This is one of the downsides of using this tool in free mode. To make the watermark go away, select Remove Watermark. You can share the tool directly with your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, or Twitter, or copy the link to share yourself. I'll share the link now and come back to refresh the page. As expected, the watermark is gone. With the free version of Hyperbooth AI, you'll have access to four free image generations every day. To get access to more advanced features and provisions, consider purchasing their basic, standard, or pro plan. Prices range from $10 to $60 for the monthly plans and $96 to $579 for the yearly plans. When it comes to headshot image to image generation, Hyperbooth AI is the best we've used. What do you think of this tool? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech insights, reviews, and tutorials. Click that bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.